All right, are you guys ready for this week's update? Welcome to the Fort Pinta Festival. So summer is not over just yet. We're throwing a beach party right on the beach. Let's ride over to Fort Pinta and get the beach party started. Oh, well, what's going on with my horse? Okay. Not only are we gonna party on the beach, but there's also two limited edition shops that are available. Wait a minute, they're not really all that set up. Here, let's, let's go over here and let's talk with this guy at the bar, see what's going on. Hey, Tim, what's going on with the beach party? Hey. Maybe you can uh, help me get all set up. There's a girl inside of him. Can you help me set up the dance floor? Sure, I can help set up the dance floor. Look at these two are already dancing away. So let's basically just hammer and put it all together. We gotta mark out the area. A little DJ, build this. Okay, it's not too much of a dance floor, but honestly, we really just wanna party on the beach, right? Right in the sand. Oh, what? The DJ's already going. Got Raptor here and what? He brought a wolf with him? Okay. Ooh, got my tropical drink. Drinking. Ooh, look at that delicious strawberry drink this girl has. <gasps> That looks so tasty. Excuse me, can you pass out these drinks? Uh, sure. Oh, Meteor's here in Concord. They're so cute. Who else would like a drink? Guys, look at how busy it is already. And I love that we can like swim in the water. Oh, she just jumped in. She jumped in with her horse. Hey, where'd she go? Just be careful because there are sharks in the water. If anybody remembers some of my past videos, Ugh, yep, definitely sharks. Alonso and Hugh from the ranch are here. Hi, sorry, no free vet checkups today. I'm just here to enjoy the last hours of summer fun. Yeah, I got that. Oh, she's lighting off her lantern. She's lighting off her lantern. Oh, I cannot wait to come back later tonight to actually light off the lantern. This would look so beautiful in the night sky. Hey, fire season's coming. Wildfires are dangerous, so be careful. Enjoy the beach. And of course, you guys, there is a limited edition beach race that we can do. They always bring this back, but it's always fun to see it because I actually like diving off this little platform. Okay, here we go go and jump. Oh, Woo. yes. Look, we're all jumping into the water. It's really fun. Yeah, come on. Let's see if we can make it to the finish. Okay, another dive and jump. Oh, don't flip, don't, no. No, now I have to do it again. Very tricky going around here on the dock. So many of us are like having to start over. Okay, jump, come on over and jump. All right, the last leap. Hey, look, it looks like, whoa, did you see that? It looked like she was actually riding on air. Oh, don't go too fast. Turn the corner and go in for the dive. Oh, whoa, race finished. Oh, now just to get out of the water. Look at everybody partying now. Everybody is really getting down on the dance floor. Oof. All right, let's check out the shopping that you can do. Let's go over right here where Scott Buttergood is hanging out. Howdy. Look at the sand, it's nice sand. Oh, everything is so cute. I love everything. All right, we've got black boots, shorts. Okay, how cool are these masks? Mask is pretty cool. Look at, she even has the mask on too. And then we've got this shop over here, the Fort Pinta Summer Store. Oh, everything is like pastel goodness over here. This really pretty summer dress, kind of like a sailor inspired dress. Got a bunch of shorts, some nice beach hats, some sandals, but beware with the sandals when you wear the sandals. <laughs> because she does not have any toes. Oh, these are cute, the little sunglasses. It looks like whenever you go underwater, like little snorkel goggles. Some saddle pads, and of course the matching saddles with them are absolutely beautiful. Bridles, some bows for your horse, and for their tail, and some leg wraps, and saddlebag. Okay, pretty awesome. So now all we have to do is wait for tonight so we can set off these lanterns. All right, the sun has now set. Perfect time to set off a gorgeous lantern into the sky. And let's pick up a Chinese lantern right here from the store. Hello. Hmm. What color? Oh, yes, okay. So you can buy them with your big shillings too. Thank you, Star Stable. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you guys see that? You see the shark in the water? You can kind of see it from right here. <gasps> you can totally see that shark swimming. Okay, I, we need to stay like far away from the shark. <gasps> there it goes. There it goes, there it goes. Look at how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Well, make a wish. There it goes, way, way, way high up into the sky. Oh, you guys, there are two magical horses that were just now released that are a special treat right here on the beach. There's already a crowd gathering. Here they are. Oh, look at how beautiful they are, you guys. Okay, Star Stable released two feather horses. So they're calling them the Peacock Butterfly Horses. They are limited edition horses. They are so dreamy. I love whenever they do like mystical, magical looking horses. So we've got the dark blue one, which look at those feathers on this body. And then we have this sugary pink one right here. Who looks like, oh, there's a horse going right through her. <gasps> look at how pretty she is too. She has an absolutely gorgeous coloring on her. I love these. 
horse. And so not only can you pick out the horses, but they have some little friendly feathered bird riders too. Look at, you can see one of them totally flying and flapping their wings. So this is the deep seagull. It says this seagull is not very fussy. So any squawks you hear from them will be wise and thoughtful. There's supposed to be another one here too. Oh, here he is. This little owl is the dreamy dawn owl. Oh, it says with their head in the clouds, it's a challenge to catch this owl's attention. They feel most at home in the lush forests and fields. All right, let's check out these horses in much more detail because they are so beautiful. There's like a little fox spinning over here. So cute. <gasps> you want to go see the fox? Yeah, see the little fox? I think he's so, so dreamy. He looks like he would be the softest horse. Like honestly, like maybe petting like a parrot or something. He's got feathers on his barrel, feathers on his back. His feathers are actually feathered. And then his butt has like the biggest amount of feathers that are just, they're so long and they actually look very 3D. Like if I could like reach out and like almost put my hand under the feathers, like that's just how like flocked he is. And he's got this really beautiful, it reminds me of like a peacock tail. And then with the matching mane that goes all the way down, all the way to the top of him with the badger marking. Oh, I think he's just so dreamy. All right, so let's get him to walk a little bit. He's so pretty. And then a little trot, nice and easy. And then a canter. There we go. And then a gallop. Let's just get him flying. There we go. And ooh, hard stop into the tree. There's a blue butterfly right here. Oh, there's a bunch of blue butterflies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. I think he's super dreamy. I think he's very, very, very dreamy. All right, let's see now what he looks like when he color changes. A lot of these color changing horses are very shy. They do not like to reveal how magical they look. He should color change any moment now. He's color changing. He's color changing any minute. Oh, nope. He decided not to. Oh, wait a minute. I think he's gonna color change. I think he's gonna, oh, he did it. He did it. Look at that. Look at that. He's like a very soft black, like almost a gray and white. And he still has like his tail detail and mane detail and even his badger marking on his eye. Absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with him. So let me get him all tacked up so we can also see his little flying owl companion pet. So just ignore the fact that the saddlebag does not match. And here he is. Here's the dreamy dawn owl. I love how he like sits on the saddlebag. He looks like he's ready to just complete. Yep, he's ready. He's ready to take off. He's got his feathers out. All right, let's hop up. Whoop. And let's let this owl just kind of fly with us. Whoop, here. Oh, it does like a little spin in the air. That's so cute. Oh, it's, I love that. It kind of like dives like backwards, but kind of forward. Let's have him color change so he can match with the owl. Okay, he's color changing and... There we go, color change. These two are so cute. Look at that, I love the little spinning. The animation is really cute. The feathers are extremely detailed. How he just kind of entertains himself in the air, just gliding right next to you or boop, just perched right in the saddlebag. Very, very cute. All right, let's go check out the other magical color changing horse. Now it's time to check out the pink peacock butterfly horse. Oh, look at her belly. You can actually see where her feathers are starting from and they're just kind of feathering up over her stomach. Oh, she also has that feathering detail on her hindquarters here, like going all the way across. And she's got this really interesting long feathers that go even further down. Beautiful ombre tail. And then this, she's got like this pop of blue that just adds the most striking color to her that matches her eyes too. She is just so, so striking. Look at all that feathering that she has on her chest here. She looks so muscular. This is a dreamy horse. Okay. So here she is at the walk. Get her to trot, canter, and gallop. Oh, and she's already ready to color change. There we go. Color change into this stunning bay pinto. With that marking, it looks like her feathers like left an imprint of a, like this white patch right on her body. Did her eyes color change? Are they still blue? They almost look like a green color now. Wow, absolutely beautiful. She still kept that pop of blue because this mare is very flashy, very, very, very showy. Oh, these are so dreamy. I love how Star Sable's going like super unique with the coat pack. Patterns. All right, let's get her also all tacked up. Now we're gonna put on her companion pet, which is the Deep Seagull, who's also pink, has a little bit of some blue marking detail on there. So let's hop up. I wanna see what the little seagull does. It's just sitting perched right now. Doesn't have as much animation as the owl does. So let's go ahead, whoop, let the seagull fly, spread your wings and fly. And it just kind of circles around. See if I can get her to color change back. Oh, don't fall off the cliff. She's still not 
color changing, it would be really helpful if Star Stable put it on the map so you knew what areas they color changed or just had like a toggle switch so you could actually make your horse color change when you wanted to. I think that would be pretty cool if they did that. You have to be quite far from town and I thought this would be far enough. Come on, girl. She does not want to color change. Oh, so there's like a, a hot spot somewhere right around here. And is she gonna do it? Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, now we can see the matching seagull along with her. So colorful. Can you imagine her at like Easter time? I think this is gonna be my Easter horse. I'm thinking it's time to go back to the beach party. Oh, oh, hit the log and maybe do some swimming. And I still have a lantern that I need to light off too. Let's ride over to the beach. Oh, I see a, oh wait, no, that's a Clydesdale. Oh, she's like a little elf girl. The color changers are always so fun. But again, I just wish that Star Sable would allow you to toggle when it color changes versus when it does not. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go and get something to drink here at the tiki stand. Okay, these horses need some training. Hello, can I get a tropical tiki punch? Sure. Oh, wait a minute, you guys, wait a minute. I forgot, there is a free item in the bonus shop for star riders, so I need to ride over to Moreland. Completely forgot about that. She's got one of the color changing horses. She named it Grim Guardian. Pull up to the window and see what it is. So the free item for star riders. Oh, perfect, it's a saddlebag. And of course, it doesn't match, but perfect place to put your new pets in. All right, you guys, well, that's it. Now it's time to start getting ready for fall. That's what I'm really excited for. Can't wait to see what else Star Sable has in store for us. Come on back and hang out with me again. If you love horses, this is my horse channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!